you guys. Okay, so I am here. I have some embeds that I have to make for some order. I have four embed orders. Now my embed things that I sell on Etsy, I use uh, have make um, 24 embeds for each order. So I have four different ones that this person wanted, and um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, move it down. Now, right now, I'm just making up the batches. You know, the um, the one that I'll be the last one, the rose one, will be piping in a couple of hours when it's thick enough, and I'll come back online for that. But the others, so the watermelon, the apple, and the strawberries will be made tomorrow when they're ready or as much as I can get done because tomorrow is Wednesday and I work at the church and the nursery so we'll get them done as quickly as possible so I can get them out in the mail by next week. I do give myself up to two weeks because a large order can take more time. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move it down. Let me know if you can see. And we'll go ahead. Now this person goat's milk so I have a couple of little things here I'm keeping the frozen milk in these cooler things might have to sh scoop this down some now there we go and leave me goggles gotta suit up under there and these are my oils but I'll start with the lye there I'm going to open this one up here and while I'm doing that I'm going to be letting this stuff my additives kind of lift to the top or rather go down into the oil and then I'll stir it up before I do that stick blend it before I add that in the meantime a little bit of lye and stir it around very slowly and I have this on a water bath and it's a small batch so there's not much in there it's only got the, the um, milk, I think I have 60 grams, about 60 grams, and 20 grams of the lye. I might have a little extra milk than I do, but I'm realizing that this is goat's milk, and I made sure to have some of the fats in it, so it has extra fats. Right, just stir it a little bit at a time. And I did get a bigger container if I'm making a bigger batch of, although I'm thinking for the ice bath part, I might have to get something even bigger so that all the goat milk, if I, ha if I was using this with the goat milk on a larger batch, I would need a larger bowl to house my ice bath cubes in. And I'll make sure that I got all of that lye and to continue dissolving it. So right now I'm just stirring this goat's milk and when it's all melted I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to let that melt just a little bit there. I'll scoot this over, bring this up here. Normally the five ounce batch I, I use a smaller container like I had the goat's milk in. But um, I don't normally stick with it when it's that small of a container. I'm going to do that. See if it will start melting a little bit more. Get it stirred as it melts. I'm not having to worry about fumes with the ice. With this frozen goat's milk. I don't have any fumes. The lye causes fumes when it gets hot. 
my um, goat milk has two little blobbies left and it's almost dissolved and I'll be pouring it into my mixture now, this is what I need to do is scrapey that down and while that's melting a little bit more scrape it this down it really whipped some air into that but this is going to be for um, hand molding so I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to squish in my, my hands now I use just my regular recipe for my um, embeds I don't use a different the, the thing is it's not modeling soap it's just your regular CP soap the next day at the softness peak of it at right when you're able to cut it that's a good um, softness peak you can mold it at that pretty much that stage it's just the stage it gets to and you can use any recipe really to do the hand molding as long as you you know don't wait two or three days you don't want all the extra water to evaporate out of it having the extra water having your regular amount of water in it actually works but I don't know if um, I don't do a water discount really well I kind of do a water discount but I add up for it and with adding the um, heavy cream and this recipe just has the water all in the goat's milk uh, no water extra so I just use the 38% that uh, soap calculator has I'm almost got this to where I think I can put it in in there and it'll be fine so I'm just going to pour this down in there I've already got now I'm not using a fragrance oil because this is you know the custom order I'm sure he'll add his own fragrance oil to his own soap so these end beds are just pretty little decorations and they're not going to have a scent in them normally I super fat at five percent but um, with the goat's milk added fats it brings it up a little bit more than that I need to find a local supplier of raw goat milk but I guess I would need to there's a place in Black Mountain I'm thinking of checking to see if they have raw goat milk so that I can keep it on hand for when I have orders like this one or even to use raw goat milk in my soap now I'm going to blend this up and scrapey scrapey down and I guess I'll tackle the watermelon colors first I'll need more red than I will of the green and yellow and then the red has to be the largest amount and what I'm going to do is I have my colors right here spoons are for my colorants I really organized it to where I wouldn't get confused with which is which I'm going to pour some in here bulk of this is going to go into there and today instead of mixing the oils and adding in I decided to add the colors afterwards to make it a little easier one way to do it there we go that's the way And stirring it really good. I think it might need a little bit more white. Oops. Okay, I am making a mess, as always. Okay, I'm going to come back and that into my 
yellow, I guess, will be the color of that one. Yellow can handle a bit of drop of white. A little bit, just a tiny amount. Now, if this is not enough, then I definitely will. Yep, that is looking good. This is going to be the thing that I let this sit in overnight. Green. I didn't take the spoon out of the white because I'm thinking about adding more white. I get the green made. A little bit more white. Much better looking now. Now the green from Mad Oles is like a have one that's a it's called a manacle pea and it's a little bit of a pea color rather than a spring green. Which I wanted for the strawberry. You see, this is a good watermelon red. So this is a good watermelon red. Now on to my next one. Bring this back into play. Get another one out. This is another bag. They're all the same size of batches. And I need that there. Pop that aside and put my adjectives. Now my adjectives are coconut flour, finely ground oatmeal, not colloidal oatmeal, but finely ground. I grind it myself. And uh, kaolin clay. for the I, I got my goat's milk frozen cubes inside that to keep it keep each one from melting on me and go ahead and get started with this and get the last of these in here and I'm going to put the lid on this and off it over there with the others and just start stirring. My ice bath is holding up pretty good, but I'm going to move it away and I'm going to come in with this thing right here and get the um, but blend in the additives. <coughs> Same as before um, coconut flour. Finely ground oatmeal and there that is kaolin clay. Now I have the kaolin clay is twice as much as the others. I've only got like a teaspoon in here for this five ounce batch of the kaolin clay. So half a teaspoon of the others. So I'm it's a really small batch. I usually do about one tablespoon per pound of oil. And of course five ounces is not nowhere close to five pound of oil. Set that over here until the goat's milk has melted enough. Now this is getting ready to pour. So the ice is the um, not the ice. The goat's milk is melted enough that I feel like I can put it in there. And my next one will be the apples. Or next, I need a tiny amount of brown, which I think I got a chestnut and another brown that I mixed up myself before I got the sample of the chestnut. I think, I'm not sure where the chestnut's from. It's either from one of the companies, American Soap Supplies or um, Nurture Soaps that my friend Lori gave me. She's been a real a good encourager for me. Next thing I want to look for is getting my LLC for my business. Get this blended. I don't need to take it too far because it usually gets, starts getting good and emulsified really quickly with a blender. Much quicker than when you're trying to stir it. And I have stirred the embed recipes before instead when I had it in a smaller container. In those little container I have these things on the... They come from Aldi's. It's a sour cream tub. And it holds the 5 ounce of soap easy. And I recycle them. And I recycle them. And I recycle them. 
and they're building up but today it shows why because I have plenty of containers to do with and to organize it now this is my browns this is my red and this is my green now fire engine red I think it's from American Soap Supply Company now, I'm not going to be using any white in this one a little bit of brown it's probably more brown than I need some red some green some more green some more red not too worried about the brown try to I'm not too worried about it getting too even oh, I make I make my apples really small because I put them beside the pumpkins on the the tall and skinny so let's start with a green and just a little bit you don't need a lot because a lot goes a long way but for a small batch you definitely don't need a lot and see what I mean by pea soupy color is a different shade of green I kind of can tell how I like a color easy because I did go to school for art and so I learn about different shades of different colors and stuff and all kinds of other stuff so I have a natural ability to look at a color and decide if it's going to have a good contrast now next I'm going to go for the brown and this is my mix here that I made up one time when I was making gingerbread soap and if I sell a lot of them this summer I will be making more brown or buying something that's brown I don't want it too dark. Dark enough to say, hey, I'm a brown, but I'm not black. Because, you know, your your apple stem is a little bit brown of a color. So, that's good. Let's clean that one off. I did not use this chestnut brown color it's from um, American soap supplies I did not use it maybe next time chose not to use it I like this brown well enough next okay now for my red that would be enough if not I'll be cleaning off a spoon it's splattering on me and this is making a good deep red that's why I chose this one as I know it wouldn't make a good apple color I have two more to go Bring this back over here. Get this back again. Get this out. My additives again. I don't know how to master batch. This is the closest I get to master batching. This. Get this aside. Get this blended up. Scrapey, scrapey this down. Got to let this melt. I'm not using nearly as many of these uh, spatulas as I thought I would. I have different reds for each one. That's kind of funny. The, the first one was Mad Oil Voodoo. The second one was American Soap Supplies. This next one is from Brett B. Scented. It's called Red Raspberry. And, uh, from Nurture Soaps, I have two different reds. One's a pinky pink. It's going to be mixed with white to make a pink rose. And the other one, I think, is the, the really red maca. So, different reds. Pour it into here. Get this one burp. Not burped. Burp. It's too shallow to burp. 
you know, using this goat's milk, milk might have me hooked once I can find a good su local supplier. But I like to put tufts of silk in my, in my soaps too, so. And for the strawberry one, so I need a little bit of green and a lot of red. Okay, the rest of this will go into the green. Now for the green in a little baggy. Okay, think that's enough. Hope that's enough. Don't like it. I just realized the manacle pea went to the apples. But, ooh, I like in this. Mm, a bit darker. Mm, changed my mind once again. Nope, yep, that's a good splash. Okay. That's good for that. And now the red raspberry. A little bit, slightly bit more of this one. Okay. Incorporate this powder into there. Very slowly. For the strawberries. And the lid for this one. And for my last one. Go ahead and add the additives to the oil. These are the ones I'm going to pipe. That's my goat's milk. It's frozen. I have four different kinds of embeds that someone ordered. It's $40 orders from Etsy. And, uh, I, have, I have it set to where when I do the embeds, I give myself um, about two weeks, one to two weeks, so that I can get it done, let them cure a few days so they can handle the trip, and then they're packaged in egg cartons inside of another container for safety with tissue paper, and on their way, I have to come up with something different for the roses. Um, I'm going to have to modify that egg carton big time for the roses because the compartments are too big for the largest ones. But we shall see. There goes all my lie. Done with that. I need to reorder lie. Money is tight. I got my computer back. It's fixed. It, it's almost like brand new. It's it's I like I like that it's now the lid doesn't fall over and uh it's nice. Much nicer. I had downloaded 10 free and I think it got fixed to where it has a code now. And so everything is working looking good with the computer. I do not need any more of the ice cubies. I guess I'm going to throw that out in just in case a live particle fell into it. This little thing here. Scrapey, scrapey. It needs to melt just a tad little bit more. Pour it in. I like to get every last little drop. I guess I'm OCD about that. Okay, I took that one a little bit further because I know I'm going to pipe it. Got it to a little bit higher of a trace. And I need three colors. Yellow, pink, and red. Start with pouring them out equally. This time I'm not going to be making rose buds, just the roses. So, I don't need as much as that. This is the pink. Pink. That's all I'm going to do for that. No more. No more of that one. It's a pink. It needs to be pink and in the white to pink in it. Get my hand cream there. I just moved the um, nail thing 
Now I'm going to be holding those little circles on here with soap as well. Put a little dollop of soap to hold that on when I'm doing the popping. Ooh. Very pale pink. I might need a touch more of this color. This is Hollywood Pink from Nurture Soap. So a touch more of this one. Now this yellow is also from Metals. It's called Bright Yellow Raincoat. It's a different color of a the brighter, darker red yellow. And so really red mica. Okay, that's good. Now for the yellow. Pause a second to realize where did I lay it? Where did I put it down at? Okay, that's enough. Pretty sure. A good yellow. Oh, yes. Good yellow. I am going to go ahead and say bye. Bye for now. Doc.